Who is the next witness? So in the last video, I mentioned that the next witness was a nurse who happened to be on the river that day and she tried to give medical aid to some of the victims. And I had mentioned that I expected it to be quite interesting testimony. But the truth is, there is no more interesting testimony for day four. And we're about to zoom right through it. But there is more video evidence, so we'll be looking at that. But before we do that, just want to show you this comment right quick. This person isn't happy about me using humor and sarcasm to get my points across. Don't you love it when people try to shame you for the way you process information? Not to mention that I'm a Gen Xer. Humor and sarcasm is all I know. You don't like it? Go watch something else. Also, do I really need to point out the irony of her watching short form content and complaining about short form content? I don't think I do, but I'll say this. This person never would have found my channel if she hadn't clicked on that short video. And I think that there's a large number of us out here who are sick and tired of all these weak individuals who can't handle humor. So jokes make you angry, huh? We'll all be praying for you to get better soon, because I certainly hope she finds the courage to laugh again someday. And then there's this comment. Now, I'm not sure if this person really is this lost, or if they're just trying to play along. But the video they were commenting on was this one. <coughs> Does that look familiar? Yes. Is that the flash drive you watched earlier today? Yes. Are those your initials on there? Yeah. And the date? Yes. I find it extremely difficult to believe that someone thinks this is real. But you just never know. So I just played along. And I gotta say, I have the firm belief that this world needs humor. And the only reason that I get on here and say these ridiculous things is because when I get on YouTube and I look for things to watch, nothing's funny anymore. You're just not allowed to tell flippant jokes anymore. And I don't know about you, but I'm totally sick of it. The society people like this are creating is bland and flavorless. So anyway, back to the trial. This nurse, I believe her name is Andrea Baldazzo. She was extremely emotional. And all her testimony was about the help that she was giving to these victims. We already know they got stabbed. We know that Nick Mew did it. I concede those facts. But all this overblown emotion just isn't necessary. We're here to determine the facts. And the milk has already been spilled and I'm not going to sit here and cry about it. But there was one small piece of testimony that she gave that might be relevant in some way. Apparently, her husband's knife was stolen from him while she was trying to help the disemboweled guy. And I suspect it was stolen from him by someone who wanted to go after Mew. You know, for more retaliation. So, moving on, then we get this guy. He's the 911 manager for that area. He was brought in to testify simply to establish the 911 call that they played in the courtroom, which we're now going to listen to. But we're not going to bother with his testimony because there's nothing there. But here's the 911 call. Let's listen. Somebody pulled the knife. Okay. So we're on the river. Do you do you know where the man with the knife is? 
And we are here, and somebody attacked some, one of our friends. You know where the man with the knife is? Okay. Everybody calm down. We're fine. We're fine. Can, can somebody tell me where the man with the knife is, please? Okay, so we're on River's Edge on the river. Um, somebody pulled, someone pulled a knife on our friend, so our friend has a knife because we have, we had, we used it for the rope, someone take our, I don't even know, I have no idea what happened. Okay, do you know where the person with the knife went? The person that stabbed the other individual, do you know where they went? Oh my God, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, we have people help. And that was one of the 911 calls. After that, we had a parade of cops and detectives. And of course, I mean no disrespect to the cops or the detectives. But once again, they were only brought in to testify in order to establish their respective body cam footage. And I think it's important that I mention they only played segments of the body camera footage. And some of it, we only hear the audio while we're looking at the cop. So this is the footage that was played in court. I got a cutter! A19 dispatch Q, call the on call. Dispatch should be on scene just underneath getting flagged down by people. One stabbing already up here. The one kid that walked by you is too. Yep, we saw that. Chase, you got a knife on you? One more cut here. I have to hook this pressure. Helicopter is overhead and 
can you pick her up? I can. I think we can just pick her up. She's got a dissertation here. Suspect? Yes, he's in the old still had a tie out, he was still stabbing people. 4502 dispatch, we just received information. Suspect still has a knife and heading up river on foot. Dispatch. I'm just getting up to 06. It does appear that EMS is clear to get up here. Just make sure they know the suspect's still at large. There's, we got officers up there at our entry point. If we can get a boat, that'd be great. Yep, yep, yep. Seals. If you got a seal, you need a seal. Yeah, I need. He's got to Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's all of the first one. Next. Hello. Okay. What does the seal suspect was? Yeah. Okay. Have them hold it. Hold right. it. H.A., you hold my hand. Squeeze my hand, man. Squeeze my hand. So good, H.A. You're doing so good. So good. We're right for 19. We're here for you. you want me to go upriver and start coming down, or I'm at the bridge right now? You want to start looking for the suspect. I'll work on a description. I heard one person say scuba gear. Did you guys see what happened? Who did it? Do you know who it is? No, no, it's just some Randall on the river. He looked ball. Five, 
five, nine, five, ten Russian looking guy. He went somewhere over there. Where's he wearing? Hey! You see him? Hey! They, they just, I think they just went after him. I think he's up there. Hey, you get out of there! Get out! Get out! Where are you guys going? What? Oh, we need to know what he looks like. We got a lot of cops in the area. What does he look like? I don't fucking know. So they don't even know what he looks like, but these vigilantes are going after him anyway. My guess is these are the guys who stole the knife from the nurse's husband. And now they're extremely emotional and they're going to go take him out. Hey, we got a canine coming. We can't track him if you guys tear up the whole central. 36. What's our furthest downriver casualty point? 64 bridge. Gen 4 believed to be going downriver. I can head straight down there. Negative. Suspect went into the woods at the initial location, a quarter mile upriver from the 64 bridge. Gen 4. Did he go off on the north or south bank? South Bank, the cider cars are on. Chase, do you want me to continue up to you or do you want me to take my squad up the road further into the woods? Yep, up the river. Or correction, Eric, just go to the woods. We need this EMS here to get these people out of here. I just talked to rescue. They're working on getting the boat into the water and up to get. Okay. Great. Can one of you hold his hand? 21 to 29. Stay away. 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 Just hold that there, okay? Just leave that there. Yeah, yeah, okay. 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 you hold on, okay? Hey. Okay. 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 Go have to squeeze past their squats and stuff. Copy, I'll point that way. What does what does stuff like wearing? Some shorts, clothes. Some shirts and a t-shirt. Okay. A white t-shirt. Like I know, you have a t-shirt off and a cock belly. Older, older man, older man, he's in his 50s, 60s. He just has a knife. 46 to 29. He's gonna throw up again. AJ, AJ, you keep holding on to me, okay? I'm just coming through the ridge. We have a whole pressure on his stomach. Hold what? Pressure. Yep, I'll go to the end of the Sunrise Trail and we'll link up there. 8019 dispatch. Suspect information. 8019, go to the suspect. Being told a white male, some shorts, shirtless, armed with a knife, possibly 50 years old. One this person described him as Russian looking. Yeah. Do we have a color on those swim shorts? Negative. Can't get that yet. Uh, also, Two of the friends of the person ran off into the woods and are looking for the suspects. We have some other people contaminating the area. Then for adult male, approximately 50 years of age, shirtless, wearing unknown color swim shorts, with a knife, and two friends of victims are out looking for the suspect as well. 1608. 8019 dispatch. 19. Disregard. Where did the suspect go into the woods at? I, I didn't Somewhere see that. I, I have this way. We have a canine coming. coming. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I know. I know. I saw him before the fight started. I have a rag. I don't know how much it's going to help. And then he but if it's going to help anybody, if you want to fly with another rag. One here, one there. 88, 44 to 88, 29. They don't know. Okay. No one knows. Okay. That's, they said this region. They don't know exactly where. Okay. Uh, I have these two trauma, 
bandage, I got a tourniquet and some quick clot Z bolt. His guts are hanging out. The other one, I haven't been over to that one yet. Let's throw that on his here. Do you know? We're just getting out of the six. Where it is, you need us. I think 29 up the road here, farther. Try to set yeah. up perimeter. Uh, at the end of Sunrise Trail here, it's pretty thick. I'm not going to be able to see much down here. I would say go to the highway and start looking on that way. Hold on, we're going to go somewhere. 10-4, we'll be rough to the highway. Take it off. Yeah, I think so. 26 is best, 7-3-1-0. Here we go. You're going to go. Hold on to me, okay? Eighty and nineteen to the dispatch. Our two most critical patients are up here, upper river. Is this? No, 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 no. You guys see them? Eighty and nineteen has two critical patients upper river. Do you have a team to go to extract them? I didn't catch that. We're a quarter mile up river from the bridge. We can see the squads. One, no vitals. CPR in progress. Ten forty nineteen. I believe I have EMS in the area. Do we have any helicopters in route for Lake View or Life Link? Affirmative. Two helicopters at this time. 8821 dispatch. About a tenth of a mile up river from the bridge. We have a male suspect with a abdominal stab wound and a laceration to the leg. We have another male subject with a lateral flash across his abdomen. And we have one subject with a stab wound to the chest. Deep down in progress. Central three victims, one tenth of a mile up river. Leg stab, open abdomen, and a chest stab. Elliot, I'm annoying. I know I'm annoying. I know. 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 In the area of Minnesota, I don't know if that's something we can utilize. Hey, 16 dispatch. If next one's available, and see if Polk County can send some deputies down. Keep talking. Keep talking. Time for next one, first copy. So, excuse my language for a moment, but. These kids lost the shit out of this fight. Okay, next video. this is playing, is this that private Correct. road for an old campground? Open down the river. Yes, it is. 10 for 50, 54. Okay. If I would do this match, we'll be on scene. Just underneath, you can flag down by people. He punched me in the face. I don't know what the fuck. I got someone who can't move. Go help him. Please. We're, we're going to help. We got a gentleman down there. He's just got to run in the fucking open. Okay. Wow, so that Maddie girl is just a complete drama queen. 
She walks right up to the cops and complains about being punched in the face. When upriver, there's a dead guy and several of her friends have been stabbed and she's only worried about herself and is flippantly throwing around the F word. And you got butterscotch schnapps and several other guys barking orders at the cops. I just don't know how to help these kids. He, he might be dead by now. How far at? Three down there? We got three individuals down the river. Significant stabbing. Okay, how deep? Uh, Not deep? It's, it's, All right. it's, it's bleeding bad. The person's balls are out. He's about to lose consciousness. All right. They're doing CPR on the one who's going as far. Right here. The one. Is he on the other side of the river? No, no, the other side. Right, right down there. Right there. Right there. Cool. They're right next to each other. All right, you want to help me out here? Yes, sir. Hey, it's our buddy Eric Williams. <laughs> Where's the guy? Okay, where's the stabber? I don't know. I've been asking questions. Nobody knows. Yeah. Y'all got into it. Right here. I'm going to be off sunrise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Can't go fast. So here's the body cam footage of Mew's arrest. Here's we were in a camel colored shirt. Put your hands in the back. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, You're just being detained at this point, okay? Yes. Yeah. Right. What are we checking? Yeah. Yep. Yep. D6 dispatch, believe we have the suspect detained. I believe we, we have him detained at the same. No, no weapons or anything like that. No. D6 has a possible suspect detained at okay. 1649. <laughs> Everybody hold where they're at. We need a photo so we can determine. I got it, I got it. I'm coming up one across the bridge right now. Like I said, you're just being detained at this point, okay, boss? Okay. I got a photo on my phone, I'll be there in a second. Yeah. The yeah chain matches. Yep, Shorts. What's your name? Nick. Nick what? Nick Mew. Okay. Take him to the Why? Bring him over my what did he do? This way. Bring him over my squad. Double lock at this point. Alright, we'll worry about it over here. Yep. Hey Schmeestad, can you turn off your Outlook notifications for just a second so we can actually hear the video? No? Okay. It's a matches. Silver blockchain. Same shorts. Let me double lock this quick. Number this for a little bit. Number. Like I said, sir, you're just detained at this point, okay? We'll explain so anything in a second here. The same as well. You got some pretty good markings on his hand, too. Alright. Oh, someone wants to take a picture of that? Yeah, we're on his thumb. So then we get to look at several pictures of Nick Mew's hands, which once again, this is a huge waste of time. No one's even contesting whether or not Nick Mew is the guy who did this. The question is why? In my opinion, it was for self-defense. 
And I know a lot of people disagree with that. But regardless, we do agree that Nick Mew is the guy who stabbed these kids. So why are we looking at pictures of his hands? These two bovine attorneys are just wasting the court's time. And my time. I mean, I'm in the middle of moving. Plus, I worked a 12-hour shift today while packing up all my stuff. And you can't spare us this ridiculous, irrelevant evidence. Sure, he's got nicks and cuts all over his hands. It's bound to happen when you're trying to defend yourself against a group of unruly teenagers who are drunk off their asses. The guy with the baseball bat was just responding to the to the sighting. And then we've got footage of the cops transferring Mew into another police car. So right now you're being placed under arrest, okay? Uh, you're being placed under arrest for a homicide and attempted homicide. And that's all we're going to discuss with you right now. Um, more than likely an investigator will come talk to you at the jail. All right? Okay. When they played that video for the jury, they cut out the very end where Nick Mew says, okay. I'm not sure why, but the defense did not want that played. Camera recording started. Still doing all right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's going Temperature? On? Temperature's okay in here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Somebody, right. I hear somebody got stabbed. Um, and I fit the description. Yes, you do. All right. Yep. So we're working through that now. So that was all the body camera footage. So then Sheriff Knudsen got on the stand. And I'm not sure why he pronounces it Knudsen. Because you can't stab anyone with a knife. But anyway, the defense was able to get Knudsen to clear up the idea that Maddie Cohen had taken pictures of her supposed injuries and offered them to the police. But the police said, no, 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 thank you. We don't need any extra evidence even though they took aerial drone footage of an empty river and did a 3D scan and all kinds of ridiculous other things that were totally irrelevant. But yeah, we don't need any pictures of your injuries. That's That would just be superfluous. They also carted out the pocket knife that Nick used and paraded it around like it was a murder weapon. But I really see it more as a tool that an engineer used to get himself out of a pickle. You could call it the pocket knife of self-defense. And I just want to quickly mention something that happened during some of the body camera footage that we saw earlier. I'm not sure how many of you noticed it, but in the body camera footage of one of the cops who was standing in the river while the disemboweled guy was being attended to by the nurse, he apparently told her she was being annoying. <laughs> and I gotta say, I think that's the most intelligent thing that kid has ever said. But as for me, it's been an extremely long day. And I'm just going to get out of here. I'll be back soon enough with the beginning of day five. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. We'll start that shit show in the next video because I've just got to get this diaper off.